Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today I'll be doing kind of a review and a demonstration of uh, this Craftsman tiller. Now this tiller was uh, produced probably sometime in the early 2000s, but you're going to find these at the exact same mechanical operation all the way up through a brand new one made uh, this last year in 2017 or 2018. Uh, Husqvarna probably produces this model, uh, so you'll see it under different names as well. But all walk-behind tillers are going to be basically the same. You have two types of walk-behind tillers. You have the one that's called a front-time walk-behind, which is like this one. And these tillers have a tendency to kind of pull you along. And uh, they can kind of wear you down a little quicker. Uh, the more expensive models will be a rear-time tiller. Um, then that's where the wheels are in front, and they're usually driven, and the uh, tines are in the back. And uh, those uh, are a little more expensive, but also a little less back-breaking when you operate them. Uh, but the more common type is the one you see right here, and it's probably been made since the uh, late 70s all the way through today. And again, this is a Craftsman model, but we'll go over some of the features of it. It's a fairly simple operation. It uses a standard 5.5 horsepower engine, although you'll see them all the way up into the 7 or 8 horsepower range and as low as 4.5. But uh, this one's 24 inches wide. That's kind of a standard. You'll see them as little as 18 and as wide as 32. And uh, that's, that's pretty much the the overview of it. So let's show you some of the functions on how this works, then we'll fire it up and take it up into the field and do some tilling with it. Oh, that's, uh, you can see these are the tines here. There are shear pins on the tines, but uh, unless you hit something rather large like a rock, these pins here should not fail. And the pins are replaceable if they do happen. In all the years that I've owned this, which is getting close to 20, I've never had a shear pin break, and I've done some pretty uh, serious work with this. I've dug some pretty deep trenches with this actually. Uh, as far as the engine itself goes, you have your run and your choke, your speed, uh, there's also your kill switch, and it's a cool start. And the only operation you have on the handles up here is your engage disengage lever. Uh, when this is depressed, your tines start turning and the, uh, the, the tiller starts tilling. It'll also, uh, if you need to walk it up to the property, you can engage this without putting any downward force on it, and it'll kind of walk itself to wherever you need to start working. That's it. It's a, it's a good motor. Fairly quiet. It has a good size muffler on it, so it won't wear you out just running it. But Let me go ahead and fire this one up, and we will. Uh, I'll show you how simple it is to operate. I'm going to move it to the start. Probably set the choke. this little tiller up here to our main garden plot and uh, as you can see I've already tilled this if you watch some of my other videos with the uh, pull behind tiller I have for one of these tractors behind me and I've used cultivator on this uh, in previous seasons so this soil is already pretty well conditioned that's not to say that a tiller this size can't work through you know plain grass uh, in fact when I first started on my little project up here I did make a 50 by 100 food plot that had never been tilled before out of a tearing up a lawn with this very tiller. And uh, other than needing a day off from work afterwards because of the amount of stress it put on my body, it's certainly capable of doing it. It just is going to give you a pretty heavy workout, uh, you know, kind of pulling and tearing at you. But to show you how easy it is to, uh, you know, knock back the weeds and to get a, your soil prepped, I'll go ahead and fire this up. We'll make a pass and uh, then we'll do a little wrap up and that'll be it.
see, it certainly works. It's got a lot of power. Of course, it's a dangerous device. You wouldn't want to get a, your feet uh, caught up under there. It would definitely put a hurting on you. Now, the unit does a fairly good job. This soil has been worked, so it breaks up fairly easily. You can go back and pull out your little grass chunks or weeds or whatever and toss them if it hasn't killed the root system already. Overall, you know, for a small homeowner use or a small garden, say a 25 by 25 is about the max I would recommend for something like this. And these are available uh, used on Craigslist all the time. People downsize, they move to apartments, whatever the reason they get out of the gardening phase of their life. So you can pick one of these up where this thing new was probably in the $300 range. I'd say $150 is not an unreasonable price to pick one of these up used and in running condition. This one has many, many hours on it, as you can see by, it's kind of rough around the edges, but it's still very useful and uh, I've been very pleased with it. Now it does have an adjustment bar here. You can see these holes. You can slide this bar with this pin here and that sets your depth. I leave it all the way up and I just choose my depth as I go. That way I can work an area a little easier, but it's a function that it does have. I thought I'd mention it. As far as maintenance goes, an annual oil change, an annual air filter, and a buy, well, like maybe once every two or three years you put a spark plug in it. That should keep this thing going indefinitely. And uh, other than that, I have uh, really no negative things to say about it other than, you know, you're going to get a workout. As you can see, it wants to pull forward and you have to pull back. And that works your shoulder muscles, your leg muscles, uh, as opposed to a rear time tiller where you're just using downward force to get the digging for, uh, motion to work. So. I give it, you know, an A because for what it does, it does it well. Sure beats using a shovel. And uh, that's it. I'm Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Plenty more like it and plenty more like it to come. Take care.